Hey guys, it's 2018, so it's time for the EDC Pocket Dump. Alright guys, we're going to start off with what I carry, why I carry it, and everything that I keep in my pockets. I break this out into several different categories. Number one, tools. I absolutely could not live without my Phoenix PD32. I've been carrying it for over a year. This is an absolutely fantastic flashlight. I have added others to my collection since then. I've added several night cores, some O-lights, and I rotate those through, but I always go back to my PD32 because it is a tail cap light, can stand on end, takes a single 18650 battery. For that, I'm using the AWTs. I always label my batteries to what they go to, so that's, you know, Phoenix PD32. Excellent, excellent light. Really like it. Also in the tool category, we're going to go with the Leatherman Skeletool. Just keep coming back to this little multi-tool. It is fantastic. Has a pretty decent knife on it. I end up using the screwdrivers regularly. Bottle openers even come in handy a couple of times. But overall, for a multi-tool, for something lightweight, easy to carry, when you need a set of pliers and some wire cutters, this is the way to go. Cutting tools wise, we're gonna continue on with that. We've got my ZT0560 hinderer design. Uh, it's a little, little gunked up. I was cutting cardboard with it yesterday, so it's gonna need a sharpening soon. But fantastic knife, been carrying it for years. Works well, been using the hell out of it. Otherwise in tools, we have a Benchmade strap cutter. This is just something that's been sitting around in my kit for a long time. I decided to throw it in my pocket. It weighs nothing. It's just good to have a strap cutter around if you need it. Also in the tool category, I consider a lighter to be a tool. So the reason I carry a lighter, even though I haven't smoked in like four years, is you never know when you might need to fuse some cord or, well, light something on fire. Fire making is important. I like it. I also carry a 12-foot hank of paracord. I used to carry two. I have slimmed it down just to one. This has come in handy so many times I can't even tell you just from lashing things down to tying a door open in the heavy wind, it's just, it's handy. And it doesn't weigh anything, it doesn't take up any space, so you might as well carry it. Kind of moving on, I've still got my thumb drive from last year, uh, kind of pared down. I've got a lot of reference documents in there, a couple of eBooks, some things like that. Mainly, I use my thumb drive for work. It's a PNY, it is a 3.0 USB 32 gig. Works great, they're cheap, why not have it? Moving on, a couple of different lip balms. Got my Blue Force gear, always better. Lip balm, this stuff's actually really pretty good. And then I'm testing out this O'Keeffe's Lip Repair. Winter here sucks. It is dry, it is windy, it is cold, and my lips crack. So this stuff has been really rocking along. Still carry a whole bunch of keys. So I've got my spare keys with my Rescue First face mask, facial barrier, you know, rescue breathing barrier. Just spare keys that I end up using often, range keys, safe keys. Primary keys, which is basically more of the same Land Cruiser keys. Really cool little uh, light up keychain. I actually end up using my photon light in green a lot, especially when trying to get in the house at night. And just, you know, various car keys on there. Work keys, yeah, it's a lot of keys, but I end up using them pretty much every week. And spare Land Cruiser keys because, well, it sucks locking yourself out. Along with that, we have a Casio Forester watch. This is my cheap watch. This was $20 at, uh, <clears throat> at Sears on sale. Fantastic deal. I mean, just for a knock around watch, it keeps decent time. It has a date window. And I got really tired of knocking around my, my Nighthawk, my Citizen Nighthawk. So, Cheap watch, I don't mind if I beat it up. When it dies, I'll throw it in the garbage and get a new one. It does not matter. So, moving along, I generally carry one of two handkerchiefs. This is a habit I got into about a year ago. I'm either carrying my Scott Hanks handkerchief. You guys should definitely go check him out. He's on Instagram, and he makes great Hanks. He's based out of Missouri. Really like the guy, makes excellent Hanks. And then shameless self-promotion, I also carry a Midgard Survival Hank, which is my company that I make, and I've got those up on my website right now. Uh, just a nice little extra hobby. I enjoy making them, so I, I carry one, because, well, yeah, I made it. Wallet-wise, still rocking my VanQuest Vault 1.0. This thing is fantastic. 
RFID blocking. I've got driver's license, concealed carry license in there, a little bit of cash. And of course, going off camera, my titanium Bogota tools. There those are my entry tools, great lock picks. I always carry a couple of band-aids in there as well. These I bought from ITS Tactical. Definitely swing over to itstactical.com and show Brian Black some love. He's a good guy. I doubt he remembers me, but he helped me out a lot when I started this channel back in 2009. So we've got that rocking along. Another little Vanquist, uh, the cash, or sorry, this is the vault, that's the cash, that's the cash, that's the vault. Either way, carrying the Vanquist stuff. I've got my USPSA card, I've got my range key, keep my fishing license in here. This goes in a cargo pocket because it's much easier to access when I'm sitting down going into the range. I'm also still rocking an ancient Randall's Adventure and Training Rat Cutlery card. So, like, that's old school right now. ZTE. This is my phone. I don't really care about phones that much, to be perfectly honest with you. It's a tool that I use for basically making phone calls, checking email, and using Instagram. So don't need to be fancy, but this thing's been working great and it was 90 bucks. Now everything that everybody wants to know about, what are you carrying for a gun? Well, I've actually switched that up. This is the biggest change for 2018. Now, this happened actually in about September of 2017. I switched over to the CZ P07. This is a fantastic gun. This is probably the most underrated carry pistol out there. I love it. And I know some people are gonna jump on and say, oh, get a, get a P10C, get a P10C. Well, you know what? Got one of those too. But for carry purposes, I actually really enjoy the P07 more than the P10C. I'll have to cover some of my issues with the P10C in another video. Don't get me wrong, great gun. But if I'm going to be carrying it every day, the P07 is my go-to. And the P10C, by the way, it is, it is safe, nothing in it. P10C is a great gun, but I'm going to carry my P07. It's smaller, it's lighter, it's overall a more useful carry gun for me. Now, loading that up, I'm going to carry that with a 15-round flush fit magazine. This has 135 grain Hornady critical duty ammo in it. Proven to work. Thankfully, I've never had to test it myself, but we know that stuff works. Then I always carry a spare mag. This is in a Black Arch Holsters, little multi-use awesomeness. Uh, uses retention bands. They are taking a fair bit of wear. I'm gonna have to either replace the bands or find a different mag carrier. And then of course I have a plus two base plate extension on another 15 rounder for this gun. So 17 rounds, that's good enough. 32 rounds will do me, hopefully, in whatever situation that I hope to never find myself in. So I've got to figure out a good way to carry this. Now I have two options that I use frequently for this. First off, again, big surprise, Black Arch Proto Sim. This is hands down for a strong side carry holster, in my opinion, the best thing on the market. I have a lot of these. <laughs> um, I just keep collecting them. This is the same holster that I was using for my Glock 43 last year in the EDC video. I can't say good enough things about the Proto Sims. This has their dry matrix material. This breathes incredibly well. It looks slick. You can choose any color combination you want. I went with the FDE and the gray on black leather for this one, and I couldn't be happier. This is just a rock solid holster. So for behind the hip carry, strong side carry, that's what I use. Now there are times where I want to do appendix carry. So I am using the Harry's holsters <clears throat> appendix rig in the overlord configuration the insider is a fantastic holster i mean i could not be happier with this for an appendix rig it's incredibly well manufactured easy to set up and for an appendix rig it's it's fantastic it really does work really well so moving on to the final bits for 2018's edc i've got of course my dot mod i'm still vaping it's what i do and bottle of Wyoming Vapor Company e-liquid. Now, holding everything up in my pants, I am actually using a really kick-ass EDC belt. This is the EDC belt from Hammer Armament. Now, Brent is an awesome, awesome holster manufacturer, and he makes a hell of a good belt. 
So heavier probably polypro webbing here with standard one inch nylon mil spec webbing, infinitely adjustable one inch Cobra buckle. I love the Austria Alpen Cobra buckles. These things are just fantastic. It's wearing really well, stiff enough to be comfortable for everyday carry or stiff enough to hold up your guns, but flexible enough to be comfortable for everyday carry. Great belt, affordable, highly recommend it. So that's really everything that's in my pockets on a daily basis. Yeah, it looks like a lot, but it works out really well. I carry everything usually in a pair of proper LS1 pants, same thing. Had a few issues with the propers. I'm not super happy with the quality of the last batch that I got, but that's something I'll have to address later. So that's a pocket dump. That's a lot of stuff, I know. But I've really narrowed this down to things that I just use pretty much either daily or at least three times a week. Everything else I have actually moved into a separate bag, which will be a separate video. All right, guys, so that about wraps up 2018 EDC pocket dump. I know I carry a lot of stuff. It works really well for me and everyday carry, it's very personal, it just is. So a lot of people are gonna walk out of the house with wallet keys, cell phone, and that's a great base. And then from there, tailor it to what you need, to what you use and what your job and your daily life requires. For me, I pretty much use everything at least every day to every three days. So due to job requirements and things around the house, I. I use everything I carry. So I have trimmed it down. I've moved some things over to my Vanquist pack. I will be doing a separate review on that for my EDC bag. It's always changing, always evolving. It's been a really good investment. Gets things out of my pockets, lightens my day up. And uh, overall, it's just, it was a really wise investment. So that'll be a separate video. Watch for that in the future. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's really it. That's what I choose to carry on a daily basis. It's not fancy, it's just decent quality kit, and I highly recommend that you go and check out all the manufacturers, especially Harry's Holsters, Black Arch Holsters, ITS Tactical, and of course, Scott Hanks. Uh, they make great stuff. I've been using your kit for a long time now. It's just good, good stuff. So if you wanna help out the channel, give me a thumbs up on this video. Of course, you can always you know comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. I'd appreciate it. Last year's EDC video was a huge hit in both positive and negative way. I've never had so many positive comments and just sheer flaming and bashing on one video. So let's see what this one does. Yeah. So I, I think that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm Lee Wilson. You've been watching TGO Wyoming. Thanks again. And as always, stay safe, shoot straight, and I'll see you next time.